All right. So looking at uh, at your uh, picture, this is uh, George Brad's. Um, and so basically we're just going to give a kind of walkthrough tutorial on what, what to do here. Um, so the first thing is I know you, you keep talking about you want 70% uh, realistic versus, uh, you know, 30% cartoonish. And that's fine. But if you're going for more of the realism side, the first and foremost thing that I would tell you to do right off the bat is to uh, desaturate the background layers um, because honestly uh, what you've got is very saturated tones throughout the whole thing and if you have the desaturated tones um, what you're what you're going to get is this it's the foreground and the background are pretty much having issues with each other so separate them I'm just kind of doing a real quick brush outline type of thing. Um, like this. Okay, so... So basically I'm inverting the layers and I'm doing a hue saturation and I'm going to start pulling that out. Um, and that desaturation of the background is actually going to kind of help you out as far as uh, that aspect. Um, having these these tall trees and stuff like that, um, the the way I'm looking at this, so if I'm looking at this from a, a, a standpoint of where's my eye flow, um, you know, I look at it and I keep wondering off the page. Um, the problem that you have is this is a very prominent uh, angle here and it leads me off the page, leads me off the page. Um, this one leads me back into here and then back again off that page. Um, you know, same thing here, up here and off the page. Um, you know, the air, the horns are pointing up off the page. And so these, these types of things are really giving you this, this aspect of, um, you know, it's, it's drawing the eye elsewhere. Um, this is leading me off the page, leading me off the page. Even these are pulling me off the page. And, and so I'm looking at it, and I just keep wondering off the main person. And that's the, the thing that you really don't want to have. So there would be some changes as far as design goes. Uh, the first and foremost thing that I would change is... Um, in the background, I would probably put in, maybe let's go filter, reselect. Um, I would probably put in little things like, um, you know, maybe more branches and things like that to lead me, lead me off or lead me instead to this main character. So, you know, putting, you know, branches like this that lead me to it. Um, I noticed in one example what the, the person did in their paint over was actually created a frame and which is a really good idea um, but the other thing is you don't really have thick and thin so giving me that thick and thin um, really is going to help me kind of stay on this page um, the other thing is don't use so saturated tones even in the main character uh, the saturated tones like in, in here what I would do is let me just go a new layer um, I'm going to add in these tones here, and you can see just by desaturating the rating this a little bit, and I'm just going to turn these to a multiply layer. Um, desaturating these tones um, is going to really kind of push your aspect of um, where my character is going. So I'm kind of dark darkening this out, things like so. Um, I'm putting in more depth into that character. And that's why, you know, part of the face is going to get kind of uh, subtracted from and shadowed up, and then as well as go back in the brush and, you know, kind of give it a little bit more darker tones back in the hair to give it a little bit more volume, more body into the neck, things like that. So by pushing those values, 
um, a little bit darker, that's when you can actually start saturating the other values. Now you have this light source here, which is this cool white light source, and what what you're basically doing is you want to almost what I would say is start by giving it a little bit of a uh, screen on there, and you can use color. So if you're going to do like like your light blue, you know, go in there and add your light blues. Make sure that you get your your edges creased. Um, or you can do this even as a sometimes like the lighter colors or you know things like that. You want to basically keep a consistent light tone. Um, even a little bit lighter, brighter uh, is going to help you out and give you a little bit more because you've got these sharp lights on there. Those lights are going to fade out. Um, so if you've got this yellow in here, you want that yellow to kind of be consistent everywhere and so on and so forth. And what uh, the the prior gentleman did was added in this uh, a, a warm glow. So he added more contrast into the that particular character. Also, what I would do is um, you've got too much saturation going on. So I'm just going to merge this real quick and create a new layer, and we're going to add multiply and say. So, you know, like you've got too much saturation going on in here. And so even just picking out some of this, this darker tone values and painting it over your, your leaves and your grass um, is going to kind of push your, your character out. Don't be afraid to get a little bit darker into the backgrounds as well. And the other thing I would do is use more of the branches and stuff to draw the eye back into um, back into the figure. Um, even simple things like this, bringing the that out to the figure. Oops, layer, new layer. So even painting, you know, simple things like this, bring this back into um, that figure is going to make a huge difference. Uh, the other thing is start adding some of these green tones to the shadows, and that'll help out a little bit too. And I'm just kind of, kind of roughly painting over, and giving you kind of this idea. Um, but yeah, the the other aspect too is you've got a background and a middle ground. You need some sort of a foreground too. Um, and the prior person, I don't want to try and copy him, but he had a good idea where you put the put the leaves in the foreground. Um, so you know, putting simple, simple uh, brushes, you know, with the blur on it, um, makes a huge difference. And even if it's just you know some leaves and things like that, um, something like this really quickly painted, it gives you it stops the the ruts from leading the, the viewer off the page. And so that's something that you really want to kind of look at. Um, you know, it's you've got the right idea going, but I think, you know, taking a look at where your eye is drawn and how your eye is drawn makes a, a big thing. Right now, before this, and I'm just going to merge this, before this, it's very bright and everything's very hard to read. Whereas if I start, start desaturating this, and a lot of times what um, artists will do is start taking a simple gradient of one of their shadows, so like the dark brown, and they'll go like this and change it to a multiply and even thicker like this, and then they'll start lowering the multiply and you notice things start popping out now. Now the face is much more prevalent the face is, is coming in here so that you can actually see things. Um, taking in and adding, you know, a dark layer uh, for the brush, I can start pulling out the legs and giving it a little bit more more light. I can pull out this, giving it a little bit more light, things like that. Um, the other thing, too, is, um, you know, watch watch where your, your, your veins go because you're more what do you want to call them, lines, watch where they go because 
as you start doing this, um, you've got branches all the way around the branches, but put it around the, the legs too to kind of give you that idea that you know these branches are kind of coming around and, and just getting much more enveloped. Um, you know, add a couple more flowers in there, and you can you could tweak the flowers by adding a little bit brighter color to it, even brighter. You know, things like that, and adding these brightness is going to still give you the accentuated look that you're going for. It's just going to create a little bit more subtle tones. I mean, even you know, you've got this hip here. You know, separate the colors. And that's going to give it a really nice, you know, feel. And then make make the the veins go around, things like that. And use some of those highlights in there to kind of push that idea that the veins are crawling up. Even even like a not so much a strapless dress, but you know, like um, wrapping it around here and starting to get in that that aspect and you're going to get more and more push um, and your your colors are going to get a lot better um, so as you can see I mean this is just a few minutes uh, I think I've been recording this for about 10 minutes just playing with it but by doing this now I'm giving more accent and more tone to the actual facial values the upper body where I want the the, the figure to look and you know even if you want to add accents, watch where you add the accents, watch where you, you add lights and stuff like that. And that'll kind of add quite a bit to this aspect of, you know, even just, you know, a little bit of brightness on the nose and, and um, you know, put a little bit on the lip. But that's a little bit too big, but you get the point. Um, you know, it's just a matter of kind of making this character want to keep on the page. And I would rearrange this to, if you're going to swipe it, um, what I would do is actually put this um, a little bit closer. And so, you know, it's coming either towards the camera and, you know, round it out, things like that. Or, you know, you can basically kind of clean this up. But make it more dimensional instead of doing it horizontal with the camera pulling or view um, you want to either have it coming towards you and I think that's why changing this hand up to be instead uh, more three quarters um, the all, other thing too is you know if you have the hand more towards you so just and let me just kind of Paint some of this out real quick here. Alright, so by having this, now I can put this towards me and then my my hand and I would almost take this and make it bigger like so and wider Oops. and that's going to kind of put the hand towards me and I'm just let's see here my hand you would see the outside so it wouldn't be this here it would be you know so I'd have my hand and my outstretched fingers like so and having it angled more towards me I'm not sure not convinced this is the right direction but the point kind of remains you know you want to get you want to get it flat towards you and then spread your fingers and then use this as your highlights um, so basically, you know, you have to get some reference of hand. I, I'm not going to draw it out here. But do you get the, the kind of point where it's more towards me now instead of um, instead of away from you? 
and by just adding these you know bricks here or these um, these pieces of color and you know things like that that now adds a lot more interest so now this this piece is coming towards me instead of instead of going away from me so those are things that you want to kind of kind of really pay attention to um, and that also gives me another secondary foreground element so I hope that helps you kind of point in the right direction. All right.